Hey, what's going on gamers? It's Switch Ben Wild from 24-7 Sim Gaming, and today we're going to be doing a highly requested tutorial, and that's how to add single player mods to your GTA 5 via the easy mod folder so you can get some brand new dope gear. And speaking of brand new dope gear, Check out our partners at Louis Luxury with innovative fashion ranging from streetwear to high fashion. And while you're there, support us at 24-7 by grabbing some merch, including our brand new Let's Start the Sim shirts exclusively at louisluxury.com. And use promo code 247SG for up to 15% off your order. Now, as always, let's start the sim. All right guys, like all tutorials, the first thing we need to do is locate that main game directory. So if you're using Steam, this is how you do it. If you use an Epic Games, it's a very similar way. So the first thing we need to do is open up that Steam. We're going to go over to our library tab. And now that we're in this tab, we're going to click on Grand Theft Auto 5. We're going to right click it. We're going to click Manage and under Manage, we're going to go to Browse Local Files. This is going to pull you directly into your main GTA directory. And when you're in here, the next thing you need to do is go up to Quick Access, right click it and click pin current folder to quick access and that way we can always always be able to get here very very quickly so now that we have that done we're going to assume that you have already downloaded and installed OpenIV. if you haven't i will leave that link down below in the description for you to follow along so let's go ahead and open up that OpenIV, and we're going to click windows and the first thing you'll see is a way to locate your main game directory. So just go ahead and click that and go ahead and click that little shortcut that we just added under our quick access and click OK. And that will have us in this point here. So where we can see all of these things. And the first thing we need to do is make sure you have a mods folder. So let's just go ahead and go back down. Go back to that main game directory that we just added to our game and we'll go over here to the left gta 5 that we just added we're going to right click click a new folder new folder and we're going to title that folder mods mods and once we've done that we need to click the update the x64 and the x64 rpf v which is going to be down here at the very bottom we need to click all three of these we're going to click copy and we're going to open up the mods folder we just created and we're going to click paste. And as you see, I have all of them, all the X64 M's and the common RPF in my folder. So if you want to do it this way, go ahead and follow it this way as well. And it will take a little minute as it's going to basically completely copy your game into your mods folder. So now that we have that portion done, let's go ahead and head back over to our open iv get that thing back open and you'll have a blue mods folder once that's completed you'll see that folder will be in blue once you've reopened open iv and the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and follow the first link in the description which is going to lead us to the easy mod folder and as you see here we have the emfsp the easy mod folder for single player mods 1.2 this is the version you'll need you'll see this beautiful city layout there of uh, Los Santos so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and click this green download button and it will pop up the EMF SP now let's go ahead and open this file here and make sure you have WinRAR a WinZipper some way to open up these files now let's go ahead and click that mod folder and we're going to click DLC packs and it's going to leave us the EMF single player so let's go ahead and close that down just for a second we'll minimize it and now we need to head back over to our open iv and inside of that open iv we need to go ahead and locate our dlc packs which is going to be in our mods folder so we're going to go mods update x64 dlc packs and inside of this folder we're going to click edit and we're going to click yes which is the edit mode here and let's go ahead and open up that easy mod folder that we just downloaded. And once again, if you did close it out accidentally, open it up and go mod DLC packs, EMF single player, that's what we need. Now that we're on edit mode, we need to drag and drop this into the open area. And once that's done, let's go ahead and close that down. Now we need to head over to the data portion of our 
open IV. So let's go back to the mods. We're gonna go update, update RPF, common data. And now that we're here, one other thing that you can do for all of these folders is once you're here, you can click favorites, add to favorites. It'll add the update pack and it'll say data and update RPF. And that way you can have a shortcut to get here always. And you can do the same thing that we did for those DLCs. When you get to that folder, you can add the DLC folder. So now that we're inside this folder, make sure we still have edit mode selected and clicked. And we're going to right click DLC list dot XML. We're going to click edit. And inside of this list, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and you won't have these things here. This is for my NVE graphics mod. But as you see here, I have EMF single player already in here. So simply go to the bottom. You're going to click control D and that's going to copy whatever your last line is and go in between the brackets and type in E M F single player, just like I have it here. And once you're done with that, you're going to click save. I'm going to remove it because I already have it in there. And the one thing we need to do now that we've done that is to make sure that our game can recognize and load all these things up. And you may have seen this already at the beginning of your tutorial, but go over to tools, go down to ASI manager, and it's going to pop these three things up and they'll probably be in this color. If not, go ahead and click install, install, install on all three of these if you haven't already done that. And now that we have that done, let's go ahead and head over to the description again. And we have a link inside that description for the Amiri Sagged Jeans 2 pack. That'll bring you here. You see this pair of Sagged Jeans. That's what we're going after. And you've probably seen these types of jeans and all kinds of retextures here. So we're gonna go ahead and click download again. And that's gonna open up really quickly. So let's go ahead and open that file. Double click it. We've got screenshots, we've got files in here. So let's double click the files. And inside you're gonna see lower 20 UYDD, lower 20 A Uni YTD. And if you see a YDD folder or file inside of any of your clothing folders, this is going to be the actual clothing item itself. And anything that ends in .ytd is going to be the texture for the clothing. Very important. So now that we have that done, let's go ahead and close this back down. And we need to head back over to that DLC packs in our open IV. So I'll tell you how to get there one more time. And when we get there, we're going to add it to our shortcuts. Go back to our main game directory. We'll go back here. We'll hit mods, update, x64, DLC packs. EMF single player, DLC rage, X64. And now that we're in here, this will bring us all the way into the inside of our EMF single player folder that we added. And if you'd like, you can also favorite this page. So you can always get here. And since we are adding clothes, we need to scroll down to the stream peds underscore player dot RPF. And let's open that. So inside of here, we have player one, player two, and player zero. And in our info, you'll see that player one is Franklin, player two is Trevor, and player zero is Michael. So let's go ahead and click player one, as this is going to be a Franklin mod. And as you see, I already have tons and tons of mods inside of my folder here. So I guarantee you this all works properly. So let's go back over to the Amari Jeans 2 pack. And we're going to go ahead and click all three of these, lower diff, lower 20 and drag and drop them into our open area like so. And they will have added in here. They'll probably be at the very bottom right now. Yes, as you see, those are our lowers that we just added, 2020. So they are installed in there properly. All right guys, so the last thing we need to do before we go into the game and check out these new clothes is install menu. So go ahead and follow that last link in the description. And that's going to bring you here to GitHub and what you need to do is go down and click the menusp.zip and it's gonna pop right up in your downloads. Let's go ahead and open that up here and let's go back to our main game directory. And remember it's going to be over here to the left under our quick access, click Grand Theft Auto 5. Just gonna minimize this just a little bit. And we need to click menu stuff 
and menu ASI and we just need to drag and drop them into our open area and we will have menu installed so now let's go ahead and go into the game and check out these brand new mods that we installed and make sure everything's working properly all right guys so now that we are inside the game we need to go ahead and open up menu by pressing F8 you'll hear the phone beep as you see menu PC and now let's press F8 again that'll pull up the menu and we need to go down to player options and go over to the wardrobe tab and we added jeans which should be number 20 so we're gonna go down to legs and we're already on type 22 those are my type 21 and my type 20 jeans as you see they are right there and we've got textures on those as you see we've got textures all over so that's it we've installed these properly and if you see any other jeans that match this model just go ahead and grab those YTDs and drop them in and that's it for this tutorial if this helps you out in any way please make sure to click that like button drop a comment down below and most importantly subscribe and click that notification bell as it helps my channel tremendously and if you need any help modding your GTA 5, please make sure to click that Discord link down below. And as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.